My main inspiration when I was a kid was my grandfather who, who was a violinist. He used to tune his fiddle down a tone for me so that I could play duets with him. Uh, and then when I got old enough, he said, I'm not going to do that anymore, so you've got to transpose. That's how I learned to transpose, which is what clarinetists have to do quite a lot. My name is Richard Rourke. I am a clarinetist in Sydney and I play with the Opera Australia Orchestra. When I was at school, I had a good teacher. I loved playing. And my teacher just said, why don't you audition for the conservatorium? And I went, oh yeah. Well, one of the occasions that I was asked to play principal happened to be when Luciano Pavarotti was coming to do a concert tour of Australia. And of course, one of the arias he sang was uh, from Tosca, E Luce Vanistella, which has um, got a massive clarinet solo. At the first rehearsal, I was quaking in my boots getting to do this with Pavarotti and I was incredibly nervous actually. But he was, he was lovely, he, he came over to me, put his arm around me and just gently sang, sang through how I should play it and uh, somehow it worked out okay in the concert. <laughs> so it's a memorable moment. My, so my position is second clarinet in the Opera Australia Orchestra but I'm, I'm often asked to play principal as well. On second clarinet uh, I need to be able to blend well with the rest of the section and I find that this instrument does that beautifully. This Yamaha CSVR, it can project and I've um, really found that over the past year that I've been playing it. I love the consistency of tone and intonation particularly making my job a lot easier <laughs> because I can play the note down the centre and know that it's going to be close and then, and then you adjust to what's around you.